Welcome to Microsoft Dynamics NAV Coffee Mug Tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodnesson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. Using a coffee mug as an example, I'll show you how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, manage inventory, and much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup of joe and let's get started. Hello and welcome again to the Coffee Mug Tutorials. Um, this time around what we're going to focus on is uh, manufacturing. Uh, we basically got uh, the request from management that we are going to be um, grinding our own coffee and selling it in bags and it's going to be quite a production so uh, what we need to do is manage that through our manufacturing module and uh, as I am the key user in the group, in this virtual group, I need to set this up. And uh, NAV, fortunately, has a very, very good manufacturing module. Actually has several options when it comes to manufacturing. And we're going to go the traditional uh, route with the traditional manufacturing. Uh, and my objective in this demo is to uh, set up a bill of material uh, with a routing. Uh, finished good and create a released production order uh, that should be sort of the basics of manufacturing this might be a little bit longer than uh, the usual but I'm gonna try to go quickly through this okay so what we have here um, I got my items and I actually created a subsection of the items called coffee which only looks at the coffee items that I have uh, you can look at another video that we had on this uh, with uh, list views, I believe, uh, how to create these uh, subcategories. They're really handy, uh, so I don't look at my entire item list. Um, and in here, I have a coffee bag, coffee mug bag, so it's a bag labeled coffee mug. Um, and then we got the Mexican coffee beans. We're going to start just with these two items as our bill of material. So we're basically going to grind the beans and put them in a bag um, and seal it. And that's going to be our finished good. So these are my raw materials, these two here. Um, and I don't have the finished good yet. So what I'm going to do now is create the finished good. So I just go into new and we're going to call that uh, coffee mug um, coffee and I'm going to just have that ground like that so coffee mug coffee ground it's going to be our own label uh, we're going to sell it by pound by the pound actually I'm sorry I'm going to sell each because these are bags uh, the category is going to be coffee and over here uh, we're going to set this up as being a retail item, which it is, and the inventory posting group is going to be finished. So, uh, not to get too detailed on this, but this will post into the finished inventory on my GL, uh, because my posting groups have been set up like that. Uh, and then the tax group is going to be non-taxable so far. Um, we haven't introduced taxes, we're only selling to other wholesalers which is fine. Now often in manufacturing we use the standard costing method. In this case I'm just going to leave it at FIFO. Uh, we might create another item in a later video going into standard and maybe talking more about the costing of, um, of manufactured items. Uh, but in this one, this video, we're only concerned with uh, getting the operations going. Now if I go further down here I have something called replenishment system and production. So here I'm going to make this a production order replenishment. And this is going to be a make, make to stock item. Uh, don't worry too much about these settings right now because we're going to manually create the uh, production orders. They come into play when things are more automatic with MRP. And production is a huge topic. Um, so over here, production bill of material number, we actually are going to create a new one. And I have a few in there already, but this is a brand new one. So I just clicked in there and hit new. Uh, and this is going to be the coffee mug, coffee, 
grounds. And it's going to be each because we're selling the bag. Uh, let's have it each. Now, it starts out with status new. Um, and we can edit this as it's in the new status. However, when it's certified, I cannot change this anymore. It's locked. If I need to change it again, I need to go into under development change it and then put it back into certified so that it can be used. Um, if I close this out it cannot be used. So, And if it's new it cannot be used either. It only can be used when it's in a certified mode. Okay, so we go here into type. We're gonna have an item on here and I'm gonna pick my coffee. Let's see, coffee mug bag we're going to have one coffee mug bag in here and then we're going to pick the uh, the grounds I see where was that we have a lot of different things in here so we have the Colombian coffee ground, no we want the beans that's right, the beans. Okay, I'm going to go back into my list and just take a quick look at where that was. Okay, it was called coffee beans. And now you can see that uh, this item is already in here, I just created it. Go back into edit. I don't have to go into the item itself to get into the production bill of material. Um, and I hit advanced to edit and edit. And I'm back in here. I picked the wrong thing. So it was the Colombian coffee, gra uh, coffee beans, actually. Mexican coffee beans. There we go. Okay. We use one pound. Now, if I set up the scrap percentage, um, then the system would be factoring in extra coffee. Um, and that would probably be a good idea because as you're grinding your coffee, uh, you're not going to get a one to one. However, just for sake of simplicity, I'm going to leave it at zero. All right, so now I'm done with my production bill of material. I'll just go back to setting this to certified, so it's ready to be used. Just OK, uh, and OK. And now I set it onto my item here, coffee, the uh, coffee mug, coffee grounds. Uh, I also, in order to run my production, I need to have a routing. So there are two things I need on my item. They need to have production bill of material and a routing. And the routing has to do with how we actually do this. So we do have um, different ways to set this up. But here uh, we're going to create the grinding process. So we'll just call it coffee grind grinding. And here you have various things to set up, like whether it's going to go serial, meaning that each one of the steps down here will go one after another, or it will go into parallel, which is the other option. Most of the time people are working in serial. We have the same statuses as before. Um, and here I'm just going to create one operation. It's going to be a super simple manufacturing. And I have something called coffee grinder as a work center that I already set up. Um, just a little bit on the work center. I'm going to go into that. I did set it up beforehand. A work center is basically a place within your operation where you do uh, do the work uh, within like the shop floor or the manufacturing floor. The work center could have multiple things within it. So here I have the coffee grinder as a work center. I basically 
look at the area of my production floor as coffee grinder. One work center has this capacity, that's it. What I could do is also have machine centers inside my work center, and then I could be switching between machines inside the work center, but look at the work center as a whole, uh, or assign to it as a whole. So uh, that's that gets into details on um, how you set up your floor, but for this particular exercise, we're just going to use one work center, the coffee grinder. Now, I had, a, had to set up a few things for the work center, like for example, what the unit of measure is. It works in minutes, so that means we're scheduling in minutes. And also the calendar code. What calendar does it work off on? And we have a standard work schedule, which is, I believe it's nine to five um, all weekdays. Uh, and that will give the system the capacity. So um, for example, I can take a look at the calendar right here for this work center and it shows me or actually this is all work centers it shows me that the coffee grinder has 480 minutes in a day to work I have a bunch of other work centers in here but the grinder is that's the capacity um, if I had many machines uh, the capacity could be higher or I could use the machine centers also I can see if I go into the load uh, how much has been allocated already to this grinder and what the availability is after and what the load percentage is. So this could serve as like a little heads up on, hey, you got too many orders to grind. <laughs> There's no way you're going to do it with your machine center. Uh, you might need to, you know, buy another grinder or two <laughs> to meet the demand. All right, so uh, let's go back and go into the routing again so here i'm using the coffee grinder i'm gonna say that to grind uh one this grinder both grinds and i guess roasts uh, so uh, let's say it takes 30 minutes and five minutes to set it up and there is no wait or move time or anything like that now here i could actually set up cost as well but right now I'm not going to cost it. I'm only going to look at the time. Okay. So we'll just hit okay. And now I have both the coffee grinding routing and the coffee grounds production order, uh, production bill of material set up for this finished good, which is coffee mug, coffee ground. Okay. So Let's just put it here, one pound back, just so people know. All right, now we go out of this. And what I want to do at this point is create a production order for this particular product. And I'm now then going to go into um, production orders. So I have planned, actually, we're going to go into released production order. There we go. So there are different levels of uh, production orders. You have the simulated, planned, firm planned, and released. Uh, for this demo, we're only going to look at released. What released means, it's released to the floor and you can start working on it. Uh, planned or firm planned are normally there. We're planning to do it, but we haven't released it to the floor yet. Uh, here we've been doing a lot of tulips and oranges, but that's a different part of our business. I am in the coffee business, so I'm going to create my coffee production order. And here uh, I just create new, hit enter, get the next number. And then uh, we have an item, and I'm going to select the finished good, which is our coffee ground right here. It populates uh, the description. So the question is, how many bags are we going to make? Um, we're going to make 1,000 bags. And when is it supposed to be due? Uh, actually, remember, we're in the future. So this is supposed to be due um, 10th of March, 2017. Fine enough. Now, this is all I have to set up. 
What we now can do is go here and hit refresh production order. And if I set everything up correctly, um, ah, which I didn't, uh, it would recalculate backwards. Here it actually gives me an error saying, hey, you can't do this because the coffee grinding routing has not been certified. It's still new. Okay, let's fix that. So we just go to routing. We have routings. And it's the coffee grinding round. Go in here. This was new. Nope. We are certifying this right now. Go back. Let's go back to the released production order. There we go. And go to the coffee grounds. And now we hit refresh. OK. And here we go. So now this is ready. Uh, basically, it's a production order. It's ready to be interacted with. And it basically says, you're going to get 1,000 if you go through all of this. Uh, in order to get it done, so this is really interesting. In order to get 1,000 done with our current capacity and the time it takes, for the 9th of March, we had to start in December. So we clearly do not have enough capacity to do 1,000. All right, well, let's check this out. Let's say if we can do 50. How long would that take? I just refresh again. And now the system says, yeah, yeah, okay. 50 is enough. Uh, you can do 50 before the 9th. Um, it takes about three days. So right now we have our capacity planet in action. Um, now also I can go into the line, into um, the components for this line. And it tells me, okay, you wanted 50. We are expecting you need 50 bags for that and 50 pounds of coffee beans. Um, we didn't account for any scrap, so it's going to be exact. Uh, and finally, on the routing, you see that the route is set up here. The work center is um, looking to be looking to do this. Uh, starting on the 6th and ending on the 9th. And if you actually would go into the work center, um, the grinder, and look at the load, uh, and if you would go into the period that we were in, which was March 2017, you would see that we've allocated Um, 65 here, and then 480, 480, 480, and this is backwards planning, so it wants to be ready on the 9th, at the end of day, takes the entire three days, and then 65 minutes <coughs> of the fourth day. And that's pretty much how you set up a released production order in an AV with routes, um, finished goods, and production bill of material. Thank you.